you're watching America Trends. I'm Mary Burke Godwin. On this Valentine's Day post Super Bowl, you know we had to bring in our very favorite, Mike Costa, sports analyst. Welcome back to America Trends. How are you? Happy For Valentine's happy, Day. I'm, I'm here representing the lovers out there day after Valentine's Day, but you know, we're, we're still celebrating up of here. Course, of course, of course we are. Yeah. And we needed to have you on the show to recap the Super Bowl. I'm crazy. Mean, the biggest sports day of the year has come and gone now. Yeah. To talk to me about this game. What'd you think? Um, I, I thought it was a, an exciting game. As a fan, if you don't have a dog in the hunt, like you're not a fan of the Chiefs or the Eagles, you want an exciting game. Yep. And it came down to the, you know, the final moments, as we all know. Unfortunately, yeah. it was decided by a penalty, and a lot of people are having a problem with that, whether it was defensive holding or not. I wanted to ask you about that because yeah. I saw a lot of – comments on social media yeah. and articles about it can't coming down to two penalties one or two that one two. yeah so what what happened well the the one that eventually put the the chiefs in position to kick the winning field goal uh was a defensive holding but yes. but you look at the the instant replay and slow-mo and the guy grabs the receiver around the waist that is a penalty but you're there are some times where it's better off if the referee just keep their, you know, keeps their flat penalty flag in their pocket. I will say this. Eagles coach Nick Sirianni said after the game, it did not come down to that one penalty. It was more than that. Mm -hmm. I think that was very big of him. That, that is Because there's thing, a lot right? of Eagle fans that are just crying in their right. soup, like, it was robbed, it was taken from us. But, yeah. hey, it don't commit the penalty. Right. You, you know? can't commit the penalty. No, play better. It, yeah. Play better. Play better. Show up better. But exactly. I agree with you that it was a good game for – I didn't have skin in the game. I didn't really yeah. care one way or the other. Right. It was an exciting game. I was. I thought in my mind I was rooting for the Eagles. We talked about that. But at the end, I didn't really care. I just was hoping for a good game. So yeah, as a Raider fan, and you're a Charger fan, yeah. it kind of stinks to see the Chiefs go on and have success. Yeah. But at the same time, you want a good game. I will say this. The field was atrocious. The field conditions <laughs> were Horrible. I heard it was really slip they, slippery. They, they, they were, were bragging all over. about this turf, no, right? That terrible. they brought in three days before. And, yeah. 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 Hey, but, NFL, lose the number of that turf company because it was, they were skating out there. Oh, my terrible. gosh. And was that, it the I first think, year they've used it, it? They were bragging about it took two years for the sod yeah. and all this, and it was $800,000 and this and that. Somebody's fired. Uh, Someone's oof. head's going to roll, right? And both teams were slipping, not just the Eagles. So, right. Terrible field. Terrible. Yep. Um, but, it was exciting to see Patrick Mahomes win. I don't. I like him. He's you're insane. Not a fan? Oh, oh, Mahomes. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. You. If you're. If you're mad at Patrick Mahomes, it's because you're jealous. Right. Exactly. And, and right. I hate yeah. him because I'm jealous, jealous. that he's so good. So but good. When dynamic. towards the end of the game, when he just ran, and you know he's on that ankle. That ankle. And he just goes for it to get them that first down. And you just knew yeah. he was going to do it too. Yeah. So am I surprised that he won on the Super Bowl? Not at all. Not at all. Okay, well, you know, there's other parts of the Super Bowl that I happen to like. So what? For the, the entertainment, you know. <laughs> so first I want to talk about the national anthem, Chris Stapleton. Did amazing. you watch it? Uh, amazing. God, he can sing. And, you know, I still hold Whitney Houston's American national anthem as my favorite. You and but. I both. And I, I have said, why doesn't the NFL just make that the, the Super Bowl <laughs> yeah. national anthem? Yeah. Just but, play a recording so, of it. Okay, but this this meme, have you seen this? <laughs> But he's oh, crying. Oh, I know, I know. So I was reading that he's a big drama queen. Oh, look at the one of the Kelsey, right? There, were, there was actually a lot of guys who were tearing up when and, it was being played. Hey, I cry every time I hear the national. Me too. I am a, I, I always have and I always will. I put my hand over my heart, take my hand. I get mad at people that are milling about the, st the stands. I know, I'm I like, know. stop in your freaking, I get very uh, riled up it's about it. It's our national anthem. Take your hat off. Yep. Salute the flag. I mean, look, I don't I want, agree. You know, we've talked about the Colin Kaepernick thing. I think that's a separate thing. Mm -hmm. I am not mad at him for doing the kneeling. That's, in my mind, a separate thing that the people that are just milling about because they don't know. They don't even know what's going on. Yeah, it's being clueless. It's being clueless and, yep. yeah, disrespectful. I agree. So, anyway, I thought that was a fantastic it part was of the show. Easily and top the five flyover, all female, historic, all female team of pilots that flew over. I Did know. you know that? Yes. And it was uh, for the Celebrate 50 Years of Women Aviators. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm normally against women drivers, but in this case. <laughs> You're such a, I no. can't say the word. No, no, no. Um, am oh. Amazing, an amazing feat. And, yeah. to, you know, just anytime you see planes flying in form formation and they are so close together, mm -hmm. I don't, 
I would, I, in a million years, I would not p possess the mental acuity to do that. To do that. And I, you I, have all these women that are like, yeah, whatever, we do it every day, boom, boom. flyover. Yeah, and that on, with the national anthem and the flyover and the fireworks, I mean, that's just to be yeah. in that stand would have been so amazing. It was very, very cool to oh, see. Oh, so emotional. So I would have cried like Nick Sirianni sure, as well. Sure, sure. Um, okay, so I got to get to my favorite part of the day. Okay. Commercials. Not my favorite part, because Rihanna was my favorite part. And I've already talked about her in the beginning of the show, but just yeah. quickly tell me thumbs up or thumbs down on Rihanna. On Rihanna? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, getting out there, was she five months pregnant? She's pregnant. I don't know how pregnant, much whatever, pregnant she is. Rocking she... it like she did, and she's an incredible, she's an uber incredible talent. Yeah. But I'm just like, I was looking at the, I'm watching it going, okay, got a bunch of Oompa Loompas out there. And, yeah, but did you see how good of they're dancing? My daughters oh, and I it, were watching it like, oh. Oh. And if you're into dance, yeah. you're loving it. That's our whole life. I mean, a lot of the teachers that teach the, my girls were out there on that field dancing. Right. I'm so just, I you loved know, it. I was a fan. I'm getting up. I'm just getting up you're, you got a to beer. pump more nacho cheese into nacho my veins. Nacho cheese into your veins. So, yeah, yeah, I see but that. But listen, do I deny that she's telling? Absolutely not. She's, incre she's, she's incredible. She's incredible. Performer. Okay, let's get to commercials. Okay. Okay, there was a lot that I liked. A few. I wouldn't say a lot. What were your favorites? The menopause commercial. Oh, I missed this kidding. one. God! <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> this is the anti-female <laughs> no, segment it starring was, me. It was like, early what? on in the game, and it, it's one that's been airing for like a couple months. And I turned to everybody in the room and I said, $7 million for that crap? No, because it wasn't a commercial. My two favorites, in okay. all honesty. Yes. My number one favorite overall was the Amazon dog crate. I did not see this one. This family has this puppy uh -huh. and it grows into a dog. And every time they leave, the dog's looking out the window, starts oh. tearing up stuff. We talked about an Amazon or a dog commercial last, last year. Last year, the, the yes. robotic dog. Yes, yes, I yes. Know. So then um, they start, they're on Amazon and they order a dog crate and you start thinking in terms of, oh my God, they're going to either lock the dog in the crate while they're gone or they're going to ship him off. Uh -huh. And then the dog crate arrives and the dad's like, you guys ready? And he opens up the crate and it's a friend for the dog. So he's oh, not bored. Oh, that's adorable. Loved it. Absolutely that's Amazon? Loved it. That was Amazon. They ship dogs? No, 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 no. <laughs> I miss Amazon's that. a puppy mill. I'm like, wait, <laughs> that does not compute. No. Okay, what's your second one? And then the one? second was um, the the girl who um, she's like a teenager with her puppy, and then she starts going. Should have this... known it was the dogs. I know, I know. Like, stages of life, and then she, at the very end, she's laying on her bed with her husband and their baby. Oh, that's sweet. And there's the dog. It's it's a Labrador Retriever, but it's obviously an older Labrador Retriever. And she's singing to him like, I will always love you or something oh, like that. Oh, that's so sweet. And that was a tearjerker. So those are my okay. two favorites. Oh, you're a softie at heart. I know. You also have 45 dogs at home, too. But There you go. Okay, so my I had four favorites. I can't show them all because we don't have enough time. Okay. But did you see the T-Mobile with John Travolta singing Summer Lovin' yeah. with the guys from Scrubs? Absolutely horrible. Terrible. It was phenomenal. Was just like, wait, just. The best. Yeah, great. Okay. Hey, John, we've seen that before with hair. Go yeah, ahead. but you know, it was a shout out to our girl Olivia Newton John that died this year. So have a little heart, will you? Okay, Mike, all right. I, I'll, Where's your heart? I'll for dial it back. Olivia okay, John. I'll dial Thanks. it back. Sorry. And more female hating here from Mike Costa. No, okay. you give me. How about the the brighter Boston? Did you see that one, Sam Adams? Okay, that's one you got to look at. I didn't see that. That one. was a good one. Okay. Uh, ben Affleck's Dunkin' Donuts. Phenomenal. Yeah. And J Lo makes a guest appearance. Phenomenal. I mean, his accent is so spot on, and to see their faces when they pull up and they see him. And for amazing. Ben to be like that, you know, I haven't been doing a lot lately, but I got, you know, I make some money and stuff. So to work at Dunkin', I, fun, great commercial. It's great commercial. Yep, okay, I agree. so we're gonna go out with my favorite though, because one of my, do you know my all-time favorite TV show? No. Breaking Bad. That is the best TV show of all time. That's here, pretty good you one. heard it here first. And the cast comes back to do it for Breaking Good. Right. Pop, pop Corners. <laughs> they call it Breaking Good. Aaron Paul, Brian Cranston, even yep. the guy that plays Tuco comes right. back <laughs> in the same craziness. And it, they just captured it so, so well. Yep, that was a good one too. I mean, it was genius. And my kids, I sent it to my kids and they didn't realize it was a new thing. They thought it was something shot a long time ago. Yeah. Because they watched it with me because I'm a good mother and I let my kids watch Breaking no. Bad as 14 years old. So we're going to go out with the Breaking Bad commercial. Smart, funny, and ingenious. That's what you want in your Super Bowl commercials. I think they beat the dogs this time for me. Breaking okay. Bad. Okay. A little meth. 
Fine. little meth no, popcorn. We don't, we don't condone beating dogs, but the commercials did on this uh, oh. show. <laughs> <laughs> We're anti everything in this show. Okay, so let's go out with the popcorners let's do commercial. It. Let's do it. And we'll see you again next week. You betcha. And yeah, I love this. Yo, these are the bomb. And they're air popped, not fried. Popcorners. You're an artist. Actually, Jesse, it's just basic ingredients. No, we don't eat our own supply. Mr. White! Jesse, everyone's gonna want to taste. And I know just the guy to talk to. What are these? We call them popcorners. Say their name. <laughs> popcorners! Tight, tight, tight! Yeah! How much of this stuff do you have?